What's good, you guys? It's Team King of Games in the stage. And, um, I want to kind of give you guys like um, our basically like our progress thus far. So we went to regionals. Um, your boy was able to get our 62nd place, and then my homeboys Antonio and Carlos from the team, they came representing, and uh, we're at we're at DNA. We just geeked with it so over here. This my boy David. Uh, we decided to enter again today. And, uh, right now we're in the middle of it. It's not over, but I wanted to show you guys my current build because um I got a, a broken engine from my deck, and it actually helped me to win a lot of games. So um, it's basically it's Herald Artifact. So let's hop into the main deck. Um, it's a it's a lot different from what it used to be. So we got a triple. This is the best. This is the man. He's just he's so broken. You gotta, you gotta play three. Then a uh, triple Benton. Every engine card is just broken. Like the whole deck is just engine cards, and it just, it just like flows so perfect. And um, I decided to cut Safira just because she was breaking with the new build. And then we got a uh, triple sight. This is what wins every game. And then a uh, moral attack and beagle attack. Uh, this is for the combos. The cool thing is they're fairies, so you can search them because they're fairies, and you can pitch them with Herald because they're fairies. And you know the broken plays you make with them, like you make artifact to Rindal, you force your opponent, you basically change his effect to steal stuff from him and take more advantage. It's broken. Like um, there was a few times where I actually made my opponent, uh, where I Durindal, made my opponent pop my ignition and then skipped his next battle phase. So like this engine is just it's too broken and uh, the beagle attack because it, there's times when you draw into one too many artifacts and you gotta sanctify them, pop them, bring them out, and then just stun them. So like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change the engine. It works too good, and then this is still the best combo right here. Every game I resolve it. Even if I'm going first or second, I resolve it, and it's broken. It wins games. And then uh, double, double handy Manny. I just uh, cut him down. Yeah, bro. My name's Ivan. Hey, bro. I remember you last time. <laughs> hey, you gotta get your revenge on me, huh? Uh, hell yeah. I'm a and then, uh, one hero of orange light. He's an engine card. I make a lot of synchros with him. Uh, he's, he's just he's super broken. Um, I wouldn't change the main deck at all. It's just it's so good right now. Like it's just perfect. Now triple ignition. This is one of my main combo pieces. This is an engine card. So um, the cool thing is when you open with artifacts like one too many, you can still go like this, bring it out, and then set one directly from your deck. And also you can use your artifact Durindal to force them to destroy this, skip their battle phase. So it's just this is like one of the best cards. Just the fact that you can stall, skip their battle phase. And it also helps to out the vanities and the anti spells and the scales. So it's just ignition is too broken. Like uh, I played at three because you want to see it. It's just such a powerful engine card. And then for the plus ones, we've got a triple triple pre prep. It's just it's the most broken it's card. It's just in the crazy. Day. Yeah, it's like once you play this, you're more than likely gonna just set up your board and it's gonna be hard after that. And then uh, triple dank. This, this is the sauce right here. Uh, I want to get one more French because uh, one's English. It just it bothers me. <laughs> and then uh, triple. This is you know we going in right now. We going to Vegas. We're getting married. It's, it's just broken. There this, you go. This is like it's it's win more. It's live more. It just helps you like grind out. Like uh, this helped me a lot. Just in a lot of matches where um like I'll end up burning out of resources and like this is the only card I have left and then it just brings me back. It's just broken. And then uh, two terraformings, I think this is the most perfect ratio. Um, I tried three, it just kind of, I drew into too many. And uh, double instant fusion, because it's just, it's too broken, you have to. It helps with the first turn combos when you like open and you're missing a combo piece, you make this. You play this, you make fairy cheer grow, and then you draw that extra card. And then three of the sauce. And then the one ups, these are all the best spells in the deck. Um, free prep broken, upstart broken, muffles fusion broken. Uh, Rageki, of course, ulti, and then uh, Soul Charge. These are all broken because you recycle them with your Ritual Sanctuary. So it don't matter that they're at one and you draw and search so much that you resolve these a lot. Like this, I can resolve this as much as I can. Like as much as possible in one game as long as I have life points. It's just, it's super broken and I, I really wanted to uh, show you guys my new build because you know, you guys always want to see those heroes and I want to show you the most broken build I've had so far. Well, pretty much every build was broken, but this was just like the most clutch. This is like the best card almost. It's nearly the best card. Like, it was really cool and, uh, in my matchup with Toad Heroes in round seven. He actually, um, what he did was he twin twisted me on end phase, and this was able to pop the Bahamut Shark before he could make another Toad, and that just that gave me enough time to stall out. And also, the cool thing is, if you use your artifact Durindal, make their effect to target a spell trap you control, destroy it. You can chain this, get its effect off, and then it will get destroyed, and you get both its effect off. You special and you get to destroy a card. So this is just it's too broken. And uh double strike, I was able to get the boss the boss print and then uh warning and just GG. Uh the main deck is 50 cards and it runs so smooth you wouldn't even believe it, it's crazy. Uh, extra deck, Panzer, Norden, uh those are my infusion targets, and then the Zolkin. Uh you gotta run Cypher and Lord Omega because he can actually return your banished cards from the Zyres and just ripping from your opponent's hand is just broken. 
and then uh, the Coral to make the Zolkin, and then uh, Utopia, Broken. You make these guys, it's, it's 8,000 exact. And also, you can you can go banish, bring them back, push for more. It's just it's too good. And this guy, when you make your perfection with him, it's just ultimate control. It's too broken. You literally force them to give you advantage and take advantage from themselves. It's just too good. And then uh, this is for the star serves. It's just broken. You got to go in second, go in first, dark decks. And uh, for draw power, I'm running on uh, Emerald and Chirgro. It's just too good. Uh, the extra deck, I just wish I had space for like um, another Durindal possibly. Now for Siding, uh, triple of her. Um, I was expecting a lot of back row heavy decks and like Paley Zorks. Like I played too much of them, so like I always start her and then uh, triple barrier. I can't target this is for like almost every matchup. Like when you're going second, you have the knowledge of what you're playing, so like you it basically it gives you the room and leverage to play this to your advantage. And then uh, when they start hating on you, you side in them quakings. And then uh, double max C, double lava golem for going second, and two necros for like ABCs. The new errata is gonna kill paleos and like just a lot of floater decks. Uh, yep. so, yeah, you guys, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Like the build is always changing, I'm always tweaking on the deck. I've been tweaking on it for a long time. And, uh, it's, it's only gonna get better. I really appreciate you guys. God bless y'all, be safe, and just stay tuned. You know, we got some more for you guys. And holla at your boy, peace.